Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chigudero and today we shall continue on Unit 5 Food and Health. For your information, this is going to be the second lesson which will be on page 54 of your student's book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to summarize a text. As usual, let me go through with you first the framework of our lesson today. First, we shall read through choices of questions and complete a gap interview. And after that, we shall identify true or false statements to test your understanding of the text. Finally, we shall go through together some vocabulary meaning, understand what summary is and complete a summary with guidance. Without further ado, let us move on to the first activity of our lesson today which is to read and complete the gap interview. But before the lesson begins, help me to guess, what do you see in the picture? What's the first word that's in your mind when you see this picture? Is it strong? Is it fight? Is it fat? Or is it sumo? Definitely, you are not wrong. These answers are all right. But today, for our reading, we are talking about sumo wrestler. Now, let's read through the list of questions here first before we go through the text together. What do they have for lunch? It means, apakah yang mereka ambil untuk makan tengah hari? Next, do they ever eat any different foods? Adakah mereka pernah mengambil makanan lain? What's their typical day? Apakah aktiviti harian mereka? Last but not least, is it healthy? Adakah ia sehat? So you will need to know first this list of questions and understand the meaning of each questions because after this, we are going to match these questions into the blanks that we are going to read for this interview. Now, let us go through first the sports interview together. Those sumo wrestlers are big. How much do they weigh? Most top wrestlers weigh more than 140 kilos. The heaviest are around 119 kilos. Is it a popular sport? Well, there aren't many sumo wrestlers these days. It isn't a healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle means Gaya hidup yang sehat. Now let's look at number one. It's a blank, so you will need to choose the correct questions for this blank. However, let us see the answer first. They get up early and train from 5 a.m. until about 1 p.m. Train here means berlatih. So obviously, the answers here is answering to the questions. C. What's their typical day? Remember, these questions means Apakah aktiviti harian mereka? So, they get up early and train from 5 a.m. until about 1 p.m. What do they have for breakfast? They don't have breakfast, so they're very hungry at lunchtime and they eat a lot. Number two, they have a special dish called chakonabe. There's a lot of meat or fish in Chakonabe and there are a lot of vegetables. Chakonabe is actually a type of Japanese food that is served in hot pot. And inside the hot pot, there are multiple meat, fish and also vegetables. Based on the answer given here, what do you think is the most suitable question? What do they have for lunch? Number three. Well, it's full of vitamins and there isn't much fat in it, but they eat enormous quantities, sometimes six or seven bowls, and then maybe five bowls of rice. Vitamins, as usual in BM, we call it as vitamin. Enormous means big, very big. And bowls means manko. So now, Based on these answers given here, what do you think is the most suitable question? Is it healthy? Because the answers is actually questioning about the health quality of the food. 
Let's continue. But they exercise a lot. Yes, but not after meals. After lunch, they sleep. Then they get up and eat more chakonabe. Number four. Yes, some eggs, salads, some dishes maybe. Dishes here means manisan, but always chakonabe. So if you want to be sumo size, eat and sleep a lot. If not, maybe do sports which are healthier. So if you can see here, the answer given, it should be an answer to the questions. Do they ever eat any different food? Because in the previous paragraph, we were talking about that sumo wrestlers only eat chakonabe. So these questions is logic that readers might question whether they only eat chakonabe for their whole life. The answer is no. They do eat other foods such as eggs, salads, some dishes maybe. So these are the questions that should be matched correctly for this interview. Now class, remember, as we went through the interview just now, you will need to understand this text as well because don't forget the objective for this lesson is to summarize a text. This is the text and we are going to summarize it later. But before that, let us move on first to the next activity which is to test your understanding first okay, by identifying the true or false statements. Because I want to make sure that you understand the text, therefore I'm going to pick a few statements here and you are going to tell me whether this is true or false. Number one, most sumo wrestlers weigh 190 kilo. What's the answer? It's false. It's not that most sumo wrestlers weigh 190 kilo. It's that the maximum weight that a wrestler can have is 190 kilo. So not all. Number two, sumo wrestlers start training early in the morning. What's the answer here? Is it correct? Early in the morning? Yes, they start as early as 5 a.m. So the answer is true. Number three, they have a big breakfast. Did they have a big breakfast? No, they don't even eat before they go to train. They only eat in the afternoon, so they don't take breakfast. The answer is false. Number four, there's a lot of fat in chakonabe. Well, chakonabe has not much fat because it's full of vitamins, vegetables, fish, and also meat. Therefore, it doesn't contain much fat. The answer is false. Number five, they sometimes eat sweet foods. Do they? Yes, they do. They sometimes eat salad, chocolates, cakes, and so on. So the answer here is true. So did you manage to get the same answer as mine? If yes, congratulations. Now, let's move on to the final stage of our lesson for today, which is to go through and complete the summary. Now, but first and foremost, you will need to understand first. What's summary? What does summary mean? In general, summary in BM means rinkasan. It is basically that you will need to read a long text and after that, you're going to identify the important ideas from the long text. Last but not least, you shall rewrite the important ideas that you have highlighted from the long text that you have read. So just now we have read about sumo wrestlers, the life of a sumo wrestler. And I assume that while we were reading just now, you have seen some of the important ideas. So now I have already rewrite this sample summary for you. Just that I need you to fill in the blank with correct answer to ensure that you understand the text as well as you can see the characteristic and also how to write a summary. But before that, let me go through with you first the meaning of the choices of answers here. In BM, healthy means sehat. Unhealthy means tidak sehat. Mornings is not pagi, but it means setiap pagi. Afternoons, it means setiap tengah hari. Eat is makan. After selepas, isn't adalah tidak. So get to know this meaning even though these words are quite simple for you and you have always gone through with these words as well. But I do hope that you really understand each and every word here. 
So now, let's look at the blank in the summary and we try to fill it up together. The lifestyle of sumo wrestlers, normal. What's the answer? The answer here is, isn't normal. The lifestyle of sumo wrestlers isn't normal. Even though they are eating chakonabe, but it doesn't show that they are healthy because they are eating the food in a big quantity. They eat a lot. The food which they eat is healthy. Yes, chakonabe is healthy, but they eat a lot. They also sleep a lot in the afternoons. Remember, after training, they eat. Once they have eaten, they went to sleep and they don't exercise after meals. So these are the answers. If you're able to answer this correctly, means that you understand the text. At the same time, you will also see the important points that I have already highlighted from the interview that we read just now. This is the complete summary. All right, so that's the end of our lesson today. This is the Google Form exercise that I have prepared for you. Feel free to just scan at the QR code or you can go to the video description below and click on the link to do the exercise straight away. If you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of this Google Form exercise, feel free to do so by just scanning at the QR code or you can go to the video description there and click on the link as well. As usual, don't forget to visit my Facebook page Chegudero and give it a like if possible. Subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell so that you will always get notified whenever I update my playlist. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching and I shall see you at the next video. Bye!